Welcome, everyone. This is the assignment that I've given to you for this week, and I wanted to do a few extra things for you and to give you a few things that you can practice using uh, enums and switch, and you'll be doing an if, else if. So here's the actual assignment. I've created a sample file for you that you can start with, which I will go over in a bit. So you're going to write a program. Now, I've already written it for you so that you can just copy and paste it into your own. Uh, again, if you're using Xcode, don't worry about submitting it with uh, the name of main. It's a real nightmare to have to change it. So I'm fine with that. So Joe's Discount Food has three types of memberships, Standard Plus and Premium. Customers get reward points based upon their membership and the amount purchased during the month. So you're going to write a function that gets the membership type. I've actually written that for you because it's a little challenging to try to get in a num. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. Then you're going to create a function called get sales that returns a double validation must be greater than zero function that says calculate points. Now, I have different names in mind so that that's okay to use the names that I did. Um, you're going to get the points. And you here's a switch. You're going to do it with a switch, and then you're also going to uh, use a switch to get the name if you want and display the sales points. So let me show you the actual program that I wrote here. So you're going to put your name. The one that's uploaded has my name on it. So obviously you want to put your name on. You're going to put in the name of the program and the information. So we had uh, this as a leftover on how not to use using namespace, but you, you can delete this and you can use using namespace is fine. So I've created the enums for you. So you have a membership type and standard is one. And I did it that way because if I didn't do equals one, then standard would be zero. So when you see how I input the actual membership type, you can because you cannot actually input standard plus or premium, it's going to give you a, a nasty message. So you have plus and premium. So these are the functions that we've already written, get integer. So you have get uh, report points, monthly sales, display the menu, and display sales. So you basically have to write these four in here. So And then I have a function here that gets the enum type, which I've written for you. So we're declaring the membership type, and I'm using M type. In here, we're going to use uh, integer for the monthly sales, but the report points are going to be zero. So what you really should do is use constants for the actual percentage points in there. They're not all the same, but uh, that's okay. So let's go back to the actual program in here. So you can see this is where you're going to be using your how much at 150 or more for standard, they get a 10% of reward points. So if they did say a thousand, they would get 10% of that, or they would get a uh, $100, I believe it is, and then 7.5. So, you know, it's really up to you. I'm not going to say one way or the other. I would do this with constants using, say, um, standard level one, level two, and level three. And then I would do, you know, level one would be 10%, seven, two. And then, so I would have a whole bunch of different constants. That way, uh, it would be that way. So I'll go and I'll go back and show you. I'll do the, let's do, let's do premium. And we'll do premium level one. Level one would be the highest. So we'll go back to the reward points. So remember, you want to make sure that your constants really, the way I do it is just before main. So we're going to do constant double. And I believe it was 15 points. So we'll do premium level one. And we'll do 0.15. Now, I'm probably going to do 0 0.15 that's in there. So you could also do this if you wanted.
And another sneaky way to do something if you didn't want to do um, type in zero all the time, you could do something like this. And we'll just call it 100. Assuming I can spell it. Um, doesn't look right, but I guess it is right. And then you could do something like this. Ah, I'm missing a D. That's what it is. I knew it didn't look right. So we're good here. And then, of course, you need parentheses. That would save you from worrying about integer division. So let's go and look at what we have in here. So we start off with main and we're declaring membership type. And I just de decide to make a premium. So we have monthly sales. These are really all you really need. So remember I said that when you're writing a program, you basically just want to have a whole bunch of functions in main and some declarations as well. So we're getting the membership type. We're getting the monthly sales. We're getting the resource points, which really probably should be calculate resources more points and then we're displaying them so let's go to get membership type and you can see you can't directly input a c in and get the membership type so what i've done here is case one is standard and that's why i did equals one case two is plus and case three is there so what i would do here is i would get the make sure that you're doing between one and three. So you'd want to do something like this. And I did something wrong, so let me undo that. And let's go, instead of this, this is what I would do, is I would do num equals, and then get integer, and we would do one comma three comma enter membership type. And I'm going to comment this out, comment this out for now. And then that would get it. So let's test this and see, hopefully I didn't, have any mistakes since the last time I ran it. So it says enter membership type. So I'm going to type in five and see if it gives me a nasty message. Okay, so it's invalid. So we'll do three and then boom. So nothing's happening there, but what you could do as a... So let's try this again just to test it and we'll do C out premium. So let's run this again and see how that works. Now you're not gonna have this in the file that I've, uh, I've created for you. So let's try three and so we have premium. So what you're gonna write is before you do it, you need to write the display menu. So that's going to say press one for plus, press two for or actually it's standard plus two for plus, plus three for premium. And that will get that for you done. So the next thing you'll be doing is getting the monthly sales. So in this particular case, you're going to be using the get integer. Now remember, there's two get integers. So the one that you're going to want to use is just strictly the one that lets you put in a minimum, which would be this one in here. And then it would be the minimum would be zero because you don't want to put in a minus and we're not going to restrict if somebody has eight gazillion dollars worth of sales, what's going to wind up happening, the integer is going to crash out. You're not going to be able to put that much in an integer anyway. So... There's different ways that you can do that. And we'll talk about that another time. So let's go back to 
that's getting the monthly sales, getting the reward points, is I, I started off for you here. And this is where you need to do the if the sales are. So you need to do an if else for each one, standard, plus, and premium in there. And then you're going to return the reward point in there. So let's see if there's anything. And then you're going to need to display the sales in there. So I didn't require it, but I'd like you to write uh, where the function actually shows the type of sales is or the type of membership is whatever it is, but I don't really require it, but I did put it in the assignment, but I'm not going to take off here if you don't do it. So that should be the whole assignment for you. And uh, I hope that you have a good time doing it, be an opportunity for you to do a few things that you haven't done before. And it'll be a challenge in there. And I look forward uh, to seeing them. That is it. Uh, it is Friday at 11 o'clock, roughly. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. I wanted to have this up a little bit earlier, but I had to do some tutoring this morning. So we're good to go. Thursday, I teach straight till through 9 o'clock. So Thursday is kind of a challenging day for me after class. But I got it done. So here it is. And I hope you enjoy it.